Darcy, it's time for tea. Hello everybody, it's me, Miss Cracker, and it's time for a high tea. The show where we talk about everything that has to do with anything that has to do with RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I have two incredible guests with me here today. We have Sydney Washington, who is a killer comedian. And also we have the incredibly gorgeous Matteo Lane, who's also funny for a pretty person. Yeah. <laughs> Let's dive right into this episode. Right. Last week, Vinegar Strokes went home, so we did lose like a really nice mom. So this is that was one of the first queens that I felt a lot of pain seeing her go. The episode really starts with the Vivian talking to Samtine Wong and saying, girl, you're not gonna last long if you don't take specifically my advice. What did you guys think of this moment? Because for me, it was a giggity gag. Well, anytime on Drag Race, when all the other girls are like, you have to take our advice, that's a bad sign. I mean, because it's a competition, and so if they're stepping out of their way to be like, look, we're competing with each other, but we just gotta let you know, <laughs> this isn't working, it's bad. It's also a competition, so it's just like, I'm not friends with you guys, so why would I take your advice? Yeah. I would be torn as well. Boop! It's time to talk about the main challenge, the most terrifying challenge of all time, the Snatch Game. First of all, let's just talk about what the Snatch Game means. What do you guys think of the Snatch Game as an iconic challenge? Snatch Game is my favorite because you get to watch people just do their best characters or sometimes worst characters. There's never an in-between. No. There's never like, oh, they did okay. It's like they were the worst and those were the best. Right. I have to tell you, there's nothing, as someone who's done this, there's nothing more terrifying than hearing Rue laugh with joy at someone else while you're at your work table. You're like, <laughs> People come with characters that they've already prepared, and right. then when they flop, it's like, "But you do this. Right. You've studied this. This is this is supposed to be your A one <laughs> material, and you still can't nail it. It's upsetting." But now, wait, now hold on one minute. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna speak. <laughs> Snatch game. This is. Let's break it down. What it is. Work. You have to embody someone else and answer a random game show question about somebody else in a hilarious way while responding to people who you barely know and also can't see. Like, it's so much layers of bullshit. Yeah. And you when know. you get up there, like, I, I had my little piece of paper and my Sharpie. You were Dorothy Parker? Yeah, I was Dorothy Parker, and the first one is like, Michelle Visage is so employed at the DMV, she told Lady Bunny not to, and you're like, what? what? I'm like, is it lasagna? I don't know what the answer is. We have some drama before we even get to the Snatch Game. Yeah. There are possibly going to be two Margaret Thatchers. Well, I think that Davina really shrank in that moment because yeah. Baggett is a huge personality. I think Davina's personality is like, I'm gonna be the bigger person. You know, like, right. I'm wise, I know what I'm doing. And it's just like, it backfired, boo. Look, I think it would actually be interesting to see two Margaret Thatchers. I right. don't understand why we have to have just one. I right. think it would be great. Also, it was very British and very, like, British Bake Off for her to be like, well, you can take my character and also have my clothes. Yeah, why I mean, she add, gave her clothes. Yeah, if someone's, like, lighting you on fire, why would you be like, also, here's some kerosene right. that brought with me. Like, I don't get, I, don't, yeah. I didn't get that part. So, uh, without further ado, it is time to go right to the Snatch Game. Who do you think struggled the hardest? I would have to go with Miss Blanche Devereaux. Oh, it was yeah. rough, that Golden Girl impression was rough. First of all, you're playing Rue McClanahan, who is so iconic in the gay community, and Blanche is known for like, girls, what do you think of <laughs> So much life and so much fun and just yeah. like shady, and it, it, I didn't see it at all. I was like, good <laughs> God, wake yeah. up! I know, wake up, Pearl! Snatch Game is so important to the entire season. I feel like- If you can make it there, then it's like you're in. You yeah. actually were in the show. Right, you come out naked on a runway, they're like, I know that I was terrible, but she did like so well on Snatch Game, <laughs> so girl. <laughs> yeah, um, the only option if you're gonna do poorly on Snatch Game, I think, is to do something so epically awful right. that it makes you meme worthy for the rest of time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing with goals. Drag Race, you either like, spectacular and we love you for the, the genius 
behind the character, or it's so horrifically bad that gays are like, we love it just as much. Thank you, I appreciate it. And you that. have to stick with it. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna be terrible, you gotta go all the way in with the terrible. And the comedy. All the way left, and yeah. I, I want The comedy for Snatch Game is just like, you have to believe in whatever your answer is. Right. You can't backpedal. Yeah. I think the best was Mary Berry, I think it was Margaret Thatcher, I think it was Trump, and then the rest sort of started to just fall to the wayside. And then David. Something wrong. Something wrong. I was not for it. I just felt like he, he didn't make sense. Here's the thing about Snatch Game is the mistake, the biggest mistake you make is if you're playing so true to the character that right. there's no punchlines. Same thing with Julia Child. I like, was going to say that. I was like, the gag. She was nailing it. She was, to start. To start. The but first then, line. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. serving with fish. fish. And that's it. Yeah. The rest of it was like, where is the fun? She was gagging herself because she was like, oh, Donald Trump is like nailing it. And then the, the character that she gave up was destroying. Yeah. So she was in it. She was in her head the whole time. And I, I would have done the same. All right. So Snatch Game is finished. But then it is back to the workroom to do some makeup and talk about some issues. Now, the issue today was gay marriage. There are still places in the world, even in the UK, where a man and a man, a woman and a woman, what have you, cannot get married. Do you think that shows like Drag Race are going to help drive change? I think that Drag Race has done more than just for showing straight people on the side of queer culture, but I think it's done a lot for the queer community as well. I think it's torn down walls about toxic masculinity, allowed men to play with their feminine side and not feel afraid of it. And I think any type of exposure of people being themselves and being talented and working at their craft reaches out to more people than you would think. I believe that, like, obviously everybody should have the right to get married, but we need to talk about how terrible marriage is. Yeah. Like being bind to somebody forever. We should have the right to be as miserable as everybody else. I guess. <laughs> Kumbaya and all that is over. Let's get to the real meat of the show. Let's talk about the runway. And the theme for this week is weird science. I loved, uh, was it blue, blue with the blue. eye? Yeah, blue hygiene. I, I just thought it was a very creative and simple Look. When I saw it, I, I thought, oh my God, this runway is gonna be one of the most historic runways ever. These girls are gonna bring the fire, they're gonna tear it down, and I was disappointed. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Very disappointed. You set the bar here, and all yeah. the other girls are like, <laughs> Faggot Chips uh, came out, and she had the, the this is gonna be a very Italian reference, but she had the pizza ol Napoletan mask over her face, which means Veda pizza, like it's in Naples. So she looked like she's like, eh, ma chi vorrebbe mangiare la pizza buona? That's what she looked like, working the forno. Uh, the wig was very first shelf. It was the first shelf. She yeah. did not, it was actually the wig. First shelf, a, it was in a bucket. It was outside. in a bag. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. I didn't it was like a it. It was sock puppet. Very stringy. I didn't just appreciate her wig it. was good. Just shake and go. Okay. I, it was shake and go, I yeah. Can't, I can't deal with it. <laughs> Obviously, I think the Vivienne did very well. She had some jokes in there. I think she had an Asia O'Hara butterfly joke moment where she tried to get some butterflies. I was like, Iconic, that's crazy that you did that. It didn't feel like finished. Right. Yeah. It didn't feel finished. Didn't I feel mean, finished. it was it was an interesting look and it wasn't the worst by far, <laughs> but it was, it was, you know, a little bland. However, uh, your favorite hobby horse, of course, Something Wong, did Something Wong on her runway. I, I like Something Wong. I think she's great, but I just, that outfit, what, what? was that outfit. It was, oops, I did it again with like like last minute Halloween makeup. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, girl, you gotta reveal something. It's like so hard with a queen like that because I think she has given so much presence in the confessionals and yeah. she has been so sweet. It's hard to be like, girl, what happened here? Now after Snatch Game, it's like you have to redeem yourself oh, if absolutely. you didn't if you didn't crush it. And I yeah. just felt like this was the time this is where you actually have the power to yeah. do a little bit more. And it was like, eh, yep. I'm gonna wear a bodysuit. Silence, bring back her girls. It's time to bring the girls back to the runway and Rue is gonna tell them what's what. Today, we have two winners, the Vivienne and Bag of Chips. But of course, where there are tops, there are always bottoms. This week in the bottom, we have Crystal, and to some Ting Wong, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. It is the lip sync of a lifetime. 
I would like to say, I will definitely remember it. It was yeah. to the Spice Girls in front of a Spice Girl. It was a snooze fest. I, I literally, if I was Jerry, Jerry was so nice. I mean, it really felt like just Tylenol PM tapioca. Yeah, with prep. I'm yeah. gonna kind of do this and then maybe like that. And the, the best moment was the end when the music, the, the, that last beat <laughs> hit and they were, they, they said like, they just t dropped to the floor. Yeah. Their They're death so drop tired. was like literally like someone just ripped the souls out and they just died. Yeah. It was like literally ghost. a funeral. It yeah. was a funeral. The loser for the week <laughs> is Sum Ting Wong. Yeah. She has to go home. Who do you think is a front runner for the crown at this point? I think it's between Vivian and Bag of Chips. Yeah. I think Baga, Baga might bring it. Baga's not backing down, and yeah. Baga's like, I don't give a damn about nobody. Yeah. I'm giving, this is about me. Now it's time for my favorite moment of the week. We're gonna do something called the Queen's English, where I test your knowledge of UK slang. Yeah. What's the crack? What do you think? That means that that Diane Sawyer interview with Whitney Houston in no, 2002. No, shut up. <laughs> yes, and what it actually means basically is what's the tea? What's right? Really? What's, what's the, the crack? crack? Is what's yeah. the tea? What's, what's the crack? The That's interesting. What's yeah. the crack? In the early 2000s, um, in like I'm ready. Er, <laughs> the early 2000s, mm -hmm. people used to say like, "What's cracking? What's cracking?" Oh, that's right. What's oh, yeah. cracking? Yeah. Like, what's going on? What's going on? So, so yeah. they're biters. Yeah, they're that's ours. Yeah. What's cracking? What's popping? I'm not lacking popping? anything, so I what's don't know. You chilling? Question. We yeah. good? Oh wow. Yeah, oh. I'm getting. I'm really being myself now. I feel it. At the end of the show, I really feel like I can be. You know. Thank you guys so much for coming here. What are you doing right now? What projects do you want to plug? How can we, America? and such as support you. I have a wonderful podcast called The Unofficial Expert on Forever Dog with my bestie, my pal, amazing comedian, Marie Faustin, and it comes out every Friday and you have to listen. Yeah. And I have a podcast called Inside the Closet with the amazing Emma Willman, and you can follow me on Instagram at Mateo Lee. Oh, and you can follow me on Instagram at just Sid BW. J-U-S-T-S-Y-D-B-W. Yes. And you can Venmo me oh. at uh, my Instagram handle. Remember to catch RuPaul's Drag Race UK every Friday at 8, 7 central on Logo. And right after, come join me for a high tea on LogoTV.com or on Logo's YouTube. I've heard from these kids and they've given me some great opinions, but I want to hear from you. Tweet towards me at at LogoTV and remember to use the hashtag Drag Race UK. Bam! I'll see you next week. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>